are. Back at Yard Envy. Sorry that I haven't posted any pictures or videos or anything during the winter. of the bent grass overseeding and all that but to be honest with you the bent grass seeding was a failure i don't mind showing my failures i'm pretty much going to be showing you a lot of failures uh today but the thing is is that i just kind of lost momentum motivation it was too late to do anything else with seed there wouldn't have been any content that i could have made except for horrible horrible content and there in the winter or there at the end of winter uh, kind of in spring I actually got involved in a second job now I work on oil rigs uh, for my main job is working on an oil rig and then whenever I came home I was working in a hot rod shop so I've spent my time working on this and this kind of stuff and just kind of following my passion because that's one of my passions is hot rods street racing stuff like that which I may be making a channel on that as well but now we're back we're gonna be posting videos weekly I'm gonna show you how bad this yard has got uh, how bad I let the yard get uh, because I was focused on so much other stuff but the channel has blew up. We are like six, seven subscribers away from 4,000 subscribers right now. And that's thanks to y'all. And with all these new subscribers, I can't do nothing except for give my loyalty back to y'all and put out more content. I'm getting a lot of requests for more content. A lot of people asking where I've gone. So we're back and we're kind of getting started here with the season late but we're gonna make up for it that's the neighbor's dog ranger hey ranger no yeah he likes to do burnouts in my mulch and sling it into the grass which therefore tears up the lawnmower blades on my real mower so got to shut that kind of stuff down part of living in the country uh, so like I said, sorry for taking such a long break. I'm back now, we're full force. Right now, I've got yard envy for everybody else around me. It's time to take this yard and turn it back into what it used to be. So, let's turn the camera around and I'm gonna show you what we're working with or what we're not working with and talk about what we're gonna do to get this thing back up to par. So let's do that now. Okay, so what you're looking at right now is uh, Bermuda. And for the new subscribers, this is Princess 77, also known as Arden 15 Bermuda. I overseeded it in the fall with bent grass, and it didn't go so well. I watched a lot of videos on bent grass, and it talked about how the biggest fight people have with bent grass is uh, Poa Annua. Poa growing in bent grass. Uh, golf courses fight it all the time because bent grass is what they use in the golf greens. Uh, in the south here, a lot of the golf courses are Bermuda, some Bermuda greens, but uh, mostly bent grass greens, which takes a lot of maintenance to keep them going during the summer. So what I was fighting was the Poa in the bent grass. And I'm gonna be honest with you, nothing against the seeding company that I got the seed from but it looked like I planted poa instead of bent grass. I mean, there was a lot of bent grass, but poa just took over. I'm talking about, it. my yard was green, but it was all poa. And I, I did take care of that with uh, some image here, uh, right here in the, right before spring. I sprayed it with some image, which kills poa. And uh, we got that killed off. But that stuff kind of killed some of the bent grass too, which is kind of what I was trying to do so that I could let this Bermuda come in. So I'm going to turn the camera around and show you some of the bent grass that still made it through the image. But uh, as it gets hotter, it's killing a lot of it, and I'll show you that too. All right, so 
out here mostly on this side of the yard which is closest to the driveway there there's not a whole lot of bent you can see some right here where the kind of the darker green here is the Bermuda and you see this kind of lime color right here that is bent grass that has still made it and uh, that's gonna be going out with the extreme heat that we're gonna be getting so you can see here some of this uh, right here is dead bent grass right down in there so some of it's already dying off and and we're spraying it with stuff that's gonna we're gonna be spraying it with more stuff that's gonna kill most of that bent grass uh, we got some patches over here where it's kind of survived in the shade of the magnolia you can see it right here in this area right here so that bent grass is still kicking right now and when it's cut it's it's nice but i never spent the time with it that i was supposed to but the reason that the bermuda looks so rough right now is because i've spent the last week trying to get the yard looking decent or back under control and i have scalped this yard scalped it down to the white meat and i have uh scarified it and dethatched it and got a lot of the dead materials out because while i was off obviously i was mowing it with the the lawnmower so so that's why this bermuda is looking kind of rough right now and you can see looking from this area right here under the magnolia that all this right here was covered really good with uh bent grass but now the bent grass is gone dying out killing it out whatever you want to call it it's going away and there's there's bermuda in there which you can see it's all been kind of scalped too and brown looking it's coming back but it's having a hard time because of all this shade so that's another video coming up i'm going to show you how to grow any grass type in shaded areas pretty excited about that it's really cool stuff you can see here where we scarified it and pretty much raked all the way into the dirt trying to get all the dead grass dead bent grass really get it ready to bring the channel back so we're also fighting some some weeds got some weeds here some crab grass that we're going to be taking care of and knocking that out also while i was off or taking a break some of the people that were already subscribed or watching some of the videos there used to be a stump here and a stump there. So I rented a track hoe, dug up a bunch of stumps, did some leveling in the in my backyard, got all that straightened out back there, dug these stumps up. And that's another video that's coming soon. We're gonna bring in dump truck loads of dirt because there is a dip. I guess it was a, an attempt at a ditch. You can see it right here. There's a dip there, and that dip goes all the way across here. Now, at first, I was okay with that, but now that the stumps are gone, I want this level coming from the road. So we'll come from the road straight down into the yard and get that leveled off this season. We've got a lot of bumps in the yard that have developed. I don't know why, but that's a low spot. That's a low spot. There's a bunch of them hit or miss all over the yard. We're going to do some some leveling with topsoil out there probably fill in some of these holes with topsoil do some sand leveling this season and then oh yeah one more thing and this is embarrassing i can't believe i'm even showing you this but i used to be very proud of this very crisp live edge that i used to have and it has turned into a very dull dead edge had a lot of plants in these flower beds that did not make it through the extreme frost and freeze that we got this last winter so we're going to be doing videos on putting plants back in these flower beds taking this dead edge and turning it back into a live edge get this yard back like it needs to be so and not to forget the edge on the driveway we've got to get that thing popping again which we've got something new that's gonna help us with that too so it looks like right now it is evening time it's about six in the evening right now all this is fixing a move in so 
We're gonna clip to mowing in the morning. We're gonna do some mowing, get that live edge right on that flower bed and get this driveway back like it needs to be. This is a new weed eater I picked up. I had a bent shaft, little small two stroke weed eater. Never would stay running. It was always giving me problems. So I beat it on the concrete, threw it in the trash and went and bought this one. This is a steel weed eater. And uh, you see here, you can swap, the, uh, swap it for a weed eater head. And then you got the edger head. And this model is a steel 591R. I guess that's for racing or something. Now this model is a, it is a four stroke, but the gas still mixes like a two stroke. Is that a three stroke? Anyway, so this is the bad boy we're gonna be using. And this is the end of it here. You got a wheel here to help obviously guide and roll. Then you've got the blade here. This is interchangeable. You can get these just about anywhere. But to swap these heads out, it's one little screw right here. You loosen that, slide this one off, slide the other one on, tighten up the screw. So that's enough talk about my toys. Let's get to work. And this is exactly why I like to edge first because you get all that crap in your grass, you don't want that, you don't want that stuff going in your reel. So that's why I like to edge first. So that's four days that I'm trying to film this video. We're gonna try to finish this without it raining because it just keeps raining. So let's get this hedge knocked out and let's try to get this mow in before it storms again.
so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up uh, before it gets too dark and there's not enough light to shoot but I wanted to just kind of go over what we're doing back on this reintroduction video to the channel uh, scalp this down with my rod and mower and then uh, I scarified it off camera. I don't know it's not in this video, but I scalped it with my rod and mower. Scarified it with my scarifying cartridge on my outlet mower. As you saw in the video, it rained for about four days, and this is the green up from all the rain after this the uh, scalping. So this is the first mow with a real mower since we're getting back into it. But since my last video, uh, I've gotten around uh, 1,500 new subscribers. I just wanted to give everybody an idea of what you're really getting whenever you subscribe to this channel. One thing you're getting from me is I'm not paid by anybody. I'm not paid to say a product's good. I don't get paid by Alit. I don't get paid by uh, Tractor Supply, which I buy a lot of products from. I don't get paid by Lowe's, Home Depot, none of the chemical companies you see some of these other guys using. I'm just not, I don't know, I'm not a follower. I like to go against the grain. You're gonna get nothing but the truth from me. And if a product doesn't work, I'm gonna tell you it doesn't work. And I'm gonna tell you something you can use that's just as good and probably cost a third of the price. There's some of these chemicals out here that people are trying to get you to use that cost over a hundred and something dollars whenever you can go to your local store or Amazon or something and buy a product with the same exact ingredients that cost an eighth of the price. So I'm not gonna feed you any bull. And if there is a product company out there and they want me to do a video on it, they better be ready to hear the cold hard truth because I'm not cutting them any slack. If it works, it works. If it don't work, it don't work. I'm not going to feed you a line of bull and get you to buy something that ain't going to work on your yard. So I'm going to show you that it can be done with stuff that you buy at your local nursery, tractor supply, Home Depot, Lowe's, stores like that. Just normal run of the mill stuff. You don't have to order it and wait for this and that to ship and this and show up and then it's wrong. You got to return it and you didn't get what you thought you got. And you go to a store, you talk to people, you pick up what you want, you leave with it, you go put it on your yard the same day. I'm just simple. So, it's enough of the rant. Coming up in our next videos, we're going to be uh, killing the weeds that have started in the yard. We are going to do some fertilizing, do some spreading. Got some videos coming up about growing grass in the shade. That is the number one question whenever I talk to anybody about grass. They want to know, well, how do you grow grass in the shade? Can you grow it in the dark? What if it's never daylight? What if I live in Alaska? I mean, there's a lot of questions about growing grass in the dark or the shade. So we're going to cover that in the video coming up. We're going to level these holes that I made out here where I cut up these stumps. This hole. And another hole over, over there. There's holes. we got to cover them up. We're going to do some sand leveling. We're going to do some... we got to do something with these flower beds. I know a few of y'all are going to be in the comments talking about all the stuff in the flower beds and all that. Well, we got to get the edge right before we get the guts right. Let's get some new mulch in there. We're gonna start on our side flower beds over here. On this side, we're gonna start, it's gonna be a full season, and we're gonna cram it in here. So stay tuned, subscribe to the channel, hit that thumbs up if you like the video. Uh, comment down below of some video ideas you might wanna see this season, and uh, stay tuned while we create yard envy in your neck of the woods. We'll see y'all in the next one. That's the neighbor's dog, Ranger. Hey, Ranger. Uh, so, get that. Yeah.